200 years ago, at a time when there was no religious freedom in Korea, there were those who testified faith with their lives. They accepted this new religion without the help of missionaries and prayed for the growth of their faith despite threats and persecution under hard times. The lay hoped to have their own shepherd, a Korean priest, to lead their church. Korea's first priest, St. Andrew Kim Taegon, Having grown up in a family that had been Catholic for four generations, Kim Taegon preserved his faith with his parents enduring harsh persecution against the Catholics. At the age of 15, St. Kim was baptized by the French priest Father Mobam and selected to be Korea's first seminarian. Andrew Kim and two young men left Korea. After eight months of treacherous journey, they finally arrived at Macau. He entered the seminary run by Paris Foreign Mission Society. For a boy who had never left home, his life in a foreign land was not easy. He had to go back and forth between China and the Philippines to study due to international crises. Adjusting to strange environments and learning foreign languages were a challenge. But St. Andrew Kim continued to pray and give thanks to God which strengthened his resolve. His only desire was to be a faithful shepherd for the church back in Chosun. Even though no one had taken this path to priesthood before, this young man was not afraid. For a man from a strict feudal society to become a priest of a foreign religion meant he had to risk his life. But Kim did not falter. In 1845, he was finally ordained as a priest, a first for Korea. His journey back was also full of danger. He rode on a tiny boat that wouldn't withstand a storm over the vast sea where he could have easily lost his direction. All the faithful welcomed their first Korean priest. But St. Andrew Kim didn't waste any time. As if he sensed his coming fate, he worked hard to rebuild the Korean church, crushed by persecution. Nine months after his ordination, in May 1846, while trying to bring more missionary priests to Korea, His identity as an important leader of the church was disclosed, and he was promptly arrested. Yet, he did not tremble with fear. Despite the harsh torture, he rejected apostasy and chose death instead. On that fateful day, St. Andrew Kim told his last wishes. I am at my final hour. I die for our God in heaven. But this is where eternal life begins for me. If you want happiness after this life, become a Christian. God will soon send you more shepherds better than me as a reward. Do not be sad, but be united in love to serve our Lord. I wish we can meet face to face with God. This is my dearest wish. Korea's first priest, St. Andrew Kim Taegon. His mission was cut short. However, the spirit of martyrdom left by the saint, who had relentless love for God, will become a precious legacy for all Christians and remain forever as the light and salt for the world.
peace in the digital world. Cygnus World Congress 2022.